Welcome back people my people to Best Aussie Booze News and Reviews <clears throat> and today I'm reviewing the Coles home brand tonic water. Now you'll see that there's the two tonic waters up on the screen. There is the Mediterranean Fever Tree or Fever Tree Mediterranean tonic water which is everything, it's my baseline, okay. It's what I'm going to compare everything against. If you've watched these videos before, you know it and if you don't, I've just told you. So Fever Tree Mediterranean tonic water is quite citrus forward, um, quite Palette, you know, it, it's available everywhere for good reason. It's wildly successful for very good reasons. And I know that there are two or three distillers in Melbourne that are actually building their gins around the Fever Tree Mediterranean tonic water. Now, the opposition today is actually the Coles home brand tonic water, which is about a dollar twenty a bottle. It's a one point two five liter bottle. I have compared, re reviewed, and compared. The Woolworths home brand, so I thought, well, screw it, I'll go to the competition. Um, now, I have looked it up. It says no sugar, quite prominently on the front label, no sugar. What it's got, though, is a couple of artificial sweeteners. Type 950 and 951, and I will click back into my home screen. 950 is... Acesulfame potassium. So, and 951 is straight up and down aspartamine. Aspartamine or aspartamine, I think they're interchangeable, depending on tomato, tomato, potato, potato. Uh, that's straight up and down carcinogenic. Okay, so the risk I take. So, this is room temperature. It's been sitting in my closet for the whole weekend. And I'm going to be popping this see how it compares because a lot of these cock the GNTs I make in fact a lot of my booze cocktails and it tends to feed chair fever tree Mediterranean tonic water now the Woolworths one gave me a headache and I think that I'm not really hiding it, holding up too many hopes for now this baby's gonna work because it's got two artificial sweeteners so I think when they say no sugar they're functionally lying okay I, in another life, write books, and I've done a really big one that I'm working on for years. It's the magnum opus on how to get healthy because I ate my way into being a fat sack of shit when I was my first marriage. And I looked at sweeteners in this book. And the artificial sweeteners are every bit as bad, if not worse for you, than sugar because sugar is what your body's evolved to uh, deal with. Artificial sweeteners, on the other hand, are a product of post-World War II. It's without tying it down to a particular decade, okay? It's not bad. It's right now. The quinine is far more obvious. Um, and they do say on the bottle that it does have quinine and phenylalanine, phenylalanine, which I will pause this and look up. Okay, phenylalanine, as I'm looking at my screen now, uh, if you've got phenylketonuria or PKU, <laughs> don't get near this shit, okay? <clears throat> um, and it's apparently not very widely used as a sweet in foods, but God knows what they put this in. So I'm going to keep what I've drunk to the absolute bare minimum, which was about 50 or 60 milliliters. And I got a funny feeling this is going to be tipped over some noxious plant that I don't much like in the near future. Thank you for watching, people, my people. This is part of a series of comparing tonic waters. I'm even going to get into the other fever tree varieties and compare them. But thank you for subscribing and liking, sharing, and everything else that you do that's pretty amazing.